Okay. Hi, everyone. Hi, girls. Um, I'm gonna to, today. I'm gonna teach you how to make bulgogi. It's actually the same recipes as you will make kalbi. Um, everybody has a different way of cooking, but I still like to marinate the way how I marinate the kalbi. You could always add carrots and round onions and stuff, but you want the meat to be really tender and really juicy. So, um, main ingredients. This is the meat. I have two, uh, three pounds of thinly sl sliced meat. When you go to an Asian gro grocery store, they sell them like this all the time. And um, I have big round onion. I'm going to be using half for the marinade and I'm going to be using half when you cook. We're going to slice this on the side and so my daughters can peek out. She loves to eat the round onion, the grilled round onion, so I'm making that. Um, green onion, it's the winter, so which means, you know, gets really skinny. I have some ginger, ginger is healthy for you. And some garlic, and as always, is I'm using 7-Up, because um, it has a sugar and everything, so. Uh, and it really makes the meat really tender. So first thing I'm going to be doing is I'll be slicing um, the round onion, cut them in cube. And I'm going to put them in my food processor or the chopper. And, oh, what's wrong with this? Why is it so slippery? Hmm. Okay. Green onion. Um, that will probably going to be about a cup when you put them in a little container. So I'm not even going to bother to do that. You could always add more round onion. So uh, round onion, what it does with it is it kind of, well, I'm going to put a half, sorry. <laughs> sorry to keep changing my mind. Um, you don't have to make it really pretty to chop it. So put them in there. Mine's always liquidy. Um, the garlic, I would say this is going to be about a, a one, tablespoon, one teaspoon to tablespoon. Um, I'm just gonna put them in there. Yeah, that looks about te half tablespoon too. And the garlic, it's five, six pieces, but I don't know how much that will be. I would say about a tablespoon. Okay, um, I'm gonna grind it. You're supposed to puree this, so okay. I'm gonna put all that in there. Now, um, if you have Asian pear, you could put that. I don't have one, and I usually don't put them anyways. So, Seven Up does the job. Okay. Now, we're going to be adding soy sauce. I'm going to put one cup of soy sauce. And the sesame oil. I'm putting in one tablespoon. Black pepper, about a teaspoon. If you don't like it spicy, don't add them. Okay. Jojo, we have a um, fly. Can you go get a fly catcher? One of them just snuck in when you went to throw trash. This is a teaspoon, so I'm going to add a teaspoon of meat in. If you don't have them, that's fine too. Seven up. Put about a half cup, I mean half of 7-Up from here. See what it does? It's bubbly. We're going to add a sugar. I have a half cup here. Mix it all in. 
now taste. Now, bulgogi is sweet, so you want to taste the marinade to make sure it's sweet. Mine is a little bit sweet, not too sweet. So if you like it sweeter, you could add more. What we're going to do is I'm going to put this in here and we're going to marinate this, mix everything up. Okay, so just mix it well. And what we're going to do is I'm going to put this in a little container and we're going to put them in a refrigerator. And it tastes better uh, about an hour later. You could eat it now if you're hungry. And this will serve probably that's three pounds, so six people. Well, maybe not. <laughs> okay, so it's all marinated. Okay, okay Sophie, show them how we normally okay, eat so this stuff. So we have sesame oil that we're gonna spray. Uh huh. This is lunch, so it's light for us. This is a light lunch <laughs> compared okay. to the dinner plate. Yeah. And this is um, the romaine lettuce. Is it, what is it called? Heart of romaine lettuce. Is that what they call it? Oh, heart. Okay. It's like romaine hearts. Cause look how cute it is. See, it's like a little. It's, we're gonna wrap the bulgogi. And that's the cookie that I marinated it. Yeah, we're not really fancy kind of people. We just throw it off the plastic thing. And sasugi, kimchi, seaweed, uh, sauce, and yuku. And now Sophia is going to put And we're going to be adding, yeah, my daughters don't like to eat raw garlic so we just put the garlic whatever vegetable you want to eat it with we just throw them in all here and that yeah yeah start with that yeah 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 don't do too much darling maybe put some more oil looks dry now this is warm side and Sophia's best friend Brent's here say hi Brent hello and you're from Arizona I've known him since he was in high school. He's like my son that I never had. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a grand dog, grandson doggy that I never had. So my dogs are going crazy. They smell the meat. So anyway, enjoy the meal. Um, have fun with it. You could add carrots to this. I didn't have time to slice the carrot. You could add, oh, mushroom is perfect. Just put the mushroom in here and then you just, you know, mix it all up and eat. And and then you could freeze the leftover bulgogi and, you know, take it out and then eat it this way again and it look like you just made them, so. Okay, this is how you, well, this is how I eat them. Now, dipping sauce is right here. I already have a video on this, by the way, so they're like, oh, well, how do you make that? It's on the YouTube. Put a meat there. And you could put some grilled onion, grilled garlic, whatever the vegetable that you could find on your tabletop. Put a little bit of rice. Don't put too much rice in it, because you want to pull off the meat. Not yeah, the meat. yeah. Oh, well. And it's a bite size. I'm not, don't videotape me eating this, but it's going into my mouth. Good. <laughs> it's good? Mm-hmm.